SOLIDWORKS allows you to analyze the environmental impact of your design and compare different alternatives in order to choose the most sustainable approach. Let's see how it works. To activate this feature, go to Tools and click on Sustainability. A menu will appear on the right. Click Continue on the Introduction window and if you have not previously set the material for the part, do so now. Open the Class drop-down menu and select the class of materials. For this part, we will use cast alloy steel. Notice that the weight is displayed and the environmental impact of your part is updated. In the manufacturing section under region, select the continent where this part will be manufactured. For this part, we will select Asia. Japan has its own region, but you need to hover over this area to select it. Some continents, such as Africa, cannot be selected because data is not available for those regions. For build to last, type 5 years and leave milled as a manufacturing process. Scroll down and under use, select North America to specify the location where the product will be used. For transportation, select by boat. SOLIDWORKS Sustainability will use this data to evaluate the impact of transportation and disposal on the environment. Type 4 years for duration of use. Under Environmental Impact, mouse over the 5 factors to see how they influence these calculations. The 4 pie charts show the impact on air, water, energy and carbon emission. Mouse over each of them to see details about how they work. If you click on a chart, you'll see the importance of each factor in that particular type of pollution. You can always click home to go back to the charts. If you click in the graphics area, the menu will collapse to the right. Click on the sustainability icon to expand it. Whenever you make a modification, such as changing the paint type, the pie charts will update and will compare the new impact with the previous one. From the bottom, set this set of options as your baseline. You can now start improving your model. You can also import a baseline or look for online information to understand the results better. In the Feature Manager design tree, you can see that the material has not been specified. If you click Set Material in the Sustainability Task pane, the part updates to become cast alloy steel and the change is made in the Feature Manager. Click on Find Similar to compare the environmental impact of this material versus others and to determine which one is the best choice. Let's say you want a material with a smaller density, but with about the same yield strength. Click on Find Similar and select from the list to see how the impact changes. However, this list is too long. To narrow it down, go to Edit and apply another constraint. Search for a material with a higher tensile strength. The G230 Iron is the only one that matches the criteria. Click on it and notice that it is a definite improvement from the cast alloy steel. Click Accept. SOLIDWORKS Sustainability also shows you the financial impact of this change. Moreover, you can generate a report that provides details about the sustainability of your product. This report can even include comparisons between the final design and the baseline one. At the bottom of the task pane, click Generate Report and accept the default settings. The report will open in Microsoft Word. It contains the specifications of the part as well as an image detailed information about each type of environmental impact, information about the baseline design, and a detailed comparison between the two designs. You can click the link at the bottom of the page to find more information about the life cycle assessment.